DPP lawmakers say Taiwan should do more to develop its relationship with Central and Eastern Europe. At a press conference on Tuesday, lawmakers urged the foreign ministry to update its diplomatic strategy for the region. They call for more direct flights, more representative offices, and more bilateral exchanges in trade, tourism, and education. On July 31st, 20,000 doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine arrived in Taiwan, a gift from Lithuania. In the wake of this goodwill gesture, DPP lawmakers held a press conference Tuesday to call on the government to do more to deepen its ties with Central and Eastern Europe. Public diplomacy refers to efforts to inform ordinary people about the countries friendly with Taiwan, about the political state of each country and the nature of the bilateral relationship. The goal is to build a broad understanding and base of knowledge. Over the past few years, Taiwan has had increasingly frequent interactions with Central and Eastern European countries. Czech Senate President Milos Vistrichil visited Taiwan last September. And this year, after a COVID outbreak in Taiwan, Lithuania, Slovakia and the Czech Republic donated vaccines and support. Taiwan's foreign ministry says it will set up an office in Lithuania by September. The same month, a Slovak delegation is scheduled to visit Taiwan. With bilateral exchanges increasing, pan-green lawmakers say Taiwan should establish more diplomatic, economic, tourism and education ties with Central and Eastern Europe. DPP legislator Xu Zhijie says the central government should start talks with countries in the region over opening up more direct flights. If, say, in the city of Prague, we're able to set up a direct flight route, we would gain more opportunities for making connections with other European countries. Whether we're talking talent and language training, expanding our bases, or planning new ones, when it comes to our strategy for Central and Eastern European countries, we are working extremely hard on developing it. The lawmakers asked the foreign ministry to update its strategy for Central and Eastern Europe so that Taiwan can seize opportunities that arise for closer diplomatic ties.